all right guys welcome to this final part uh, the final module in this um, section we see talking about marketing your store using search engine marketing uh, this time around we're talking about search engine advertising or uh, what we call PPC okay now in this module we're going to look at how PPC works how search engine advertising works as a matter of fact PPC means pay per click okay so this is just the way of advertising on the internet okay using search engines where you get to pay money it's unlike SEO where you don't have to pay money you have to do some things to to you know, optimize your product pages to optimize your website so that your websites or pages are going to appear in search engine results but this time around we're talking about search engine advertising which where you get to pay money uh, so that your ads are going to be served to those who are searching and they actually appear on top of the search engine results okay now this strategy can be applied to self hosted stores and partly applicable to marketplaces marketplace stores like Redbubble and the rest of them Yep, so from what I said earlier, a PPC or search engine advertising is a digital advertising model in which advertisers pay a fee when or each time their ad is clicked by searchers on Google. It is a form of search engine marketing where advertisers bid on specific keywords relevant to their target audience and their ads are displayed on search engine results pages. All right, so that's exactly what I've been trying to explain. All right, now let's look at this graphic. Okay, so this is how PPC advertising works. First of all, you as the advertiser, you get to set up a campaign. Um, you create a PPC advertising campaign on platforms like Google Ads or Bing Ads. You define your settings, your campaign settings, your budget your target audience parameters and other other parameters okay like Google has an advertising platform called Google Ads and Bing also has their own um, platform okay so this is where you you actually set up your advertising to advertise your offers your products your website and so on and so forth so the first step is to set up a campaign and secondly you have to do keyword research you identify relevant keywords that your users might search for when looking for products or services similar to what they offer so keyword research is very key you must you must do keyword research because you are going to actually plug in those keywords when you are setting up your ads okay now in the next step you are going to set up your ad properly Okay, now you, ha you have to create compelling ads that must include those keywords. Those keywords that you have actually gotten from your keyword research. So you have to set up the ads. You have to use at enticing copy. You have to use copy that will attract your user's attention. Okay, so an ad is typ typically consists of a headline, a description, and a display URL. So that display URL can be to your product or to your website. Now, next, you have to bid on keywords. You actually do this when you're setting up your campaign. Okay, so advertisers bid on keywords, indicating the maximum amount they are willing to pay for each click on their ad. So that's why it's called PPC, pay per click. Okay, so the bidding process takes place in an auction-like system with advertisers competing for ad placement all right now when the user performs a search that matches the keywords an advertiser has bid on an ad auction is triggered the search engine evaluates various factors such as bid amount ad quality and relevancy to determine the ad's position on the SERP. now everything that happens here happens automatically it's hap it happens behind the scenes it is the uh, google search algorithm that determines exactly you know where to place your ad 
on the results page so these things happen behind the scenes you don't get to see what happens all you know is that your ad is showing on google and when people search it's gonna appear on top or second or third position depending on the uh, uh, your bidding you know your bid amount and all that stuff okay now so when that happens your ad displays and if you win an auction that happens on the fly your ad is displayed on the search engine results page so a user when a, a user clicks on the ad the advertiser incurs a cost for that click so that's when you get to pay okay for that those clicks and those clicks can go to your website or to your product pages uh, which can actually result to a sale all right now you see you, the clicks can take uh, the user to a landing page on your website okay which is designed to provide relevant information and encourage conversions so this landing page can be your product page it can be a special landing page on your website it can be your home page it can be anything you want all right now finally you you have to monitor your campaign monitor the number of clicks yeah, how much you are spending per click and other metrics so this is how you stay on top of um, your advertising campaign and ensure that you have a good return on investment ensure that you are you're not paying so much for your ads um, Google Ads is a very big um, aspect of the um, online advertising industry it's a specialized area there are specialists professionals you know there are freelancers who can handle all this for you uh, all you have to do is to pay uh, um, pay for the service and they're gonna make sure that your website um, your advertising campaigns are paying off and affecting your bottom line positively all right so that is it for search engine marketing um, thank you for sticking around and see you in the next one